Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diane O'Carroll. This week, how the brain reads what it feels. Hi, I am Friedrich Kemers. Because I'm visually impaired, I read Braille instead of normal text. So I was wondering, does the mind process text in a different way when reading Braille? Thanks for taking my question. Bye. So with text and Braille sending messages via different senses, how might the brain interpret them? Okay, I'm Dan Goldreich, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychology, Neuroscience and Behavior at McMaster University in Ontario, Canada. To answer your question, we need to understand how the brain processes both touch and language. And with respect to touch, when we move our fingertip over objects such as braille characters, receptors under the skin produce electrical impulses that race at about 50 meters per second through the nervous system and up towards the brain. And this pattern of electrical impulses, a sort of neural morse code, activates a part of the brain's parietal lobe, roughly halfway between the forehead and the back of the head. This tactile area of the parietal lobe helps to decode the neural impulses in order to infer the shapes of the objects that touch the skin. Now, interestingly, in blind people, particularly those blind from birth, touch activates not only this tactile area of the parietal lobe, but also a part of the occipital lobe in the very back of the head that is normally reserved for vision. So a blind person reading Braille will experience activation of both the tactile area of the brain and the normally visual area of the brain. This unusually extensive brain activation may underlie the heightened sense of touch in blind people. However, in reading Braille, the brain must not only perceive the shapes of the characters, but once it has done so, it must understand those shapes as language. And this linguistic understanding is probably not occurring in the brain areas I've just mentioned, but rather in the brain's language areas, such as the area of the temporal lobe above the ear called Wernicke's area. So a blind person reading Braille is probably using the same language areas of the brain as a sighted person would while reading print, and as you are right now, as you understand the words that I'm speaking. So with respect to the question, does the mind process text in a different way when reading Braille, the answer is both yes and no. Blind people reading Braille do show an unusually extensive pattern of brain activation, but once the brain perceives the tactile shapes, the subsequently activated brain language areas that work to understand the Braille words are probably the same as those used to understand printed or spoken words. In blind people, the sense of touch is interpreted by a part of the brain more usually involved in vision, as well as the brain areas typically used for touch. But both text and braille are probably deciphered by the language area of the brain. And next week, how are black holes possible if light is massless? Hi, I am Ayush Panwar, and my question is, how can light be deflected? Because according to Newtonian gravity... Gravity is a property of mass. Then how can light, which is considered massless, be deflected due to gravity? How is it that light bends due to gravity when it is supposed to be without mass? Answers on our forum at thenakedscientists.com forward slash forum or write to us. The email address is chris at thenakedscientists.com. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.